This is no ordinary school day for these students in China. They will take turns living in a sealed lab to simulate a long-term self-contained space mission to the moon. There will be no contact with the outside world for a year. What we have built here is a four-level life support system involving plants, animals, microorganisms and humans, which is much more sustainable in a fully closed condition. It's by far the first of its kind in the world. The Lunar Palace has a central living space the size of a very small apartment, two greenhouses for growing plants, a waste treatment room and a room for raising animals. One of our team members will be in charge of the crops such as wheat. One will be in charge of the vegetables, one will be monitoring the health of all the volunteers, and one will be taking care of all the items and supplies inside the facility. The first team of four will stay in the lab for 60 days. They will then be relieved by another group of four who will stay for 200 days before returning later to complete the year. If we were to live on a lunar base, the capsule would be operational for a long time, during which our astronaut crew would keep changing shifts. China is pouring billions of dollars into its space program and is working to catch up with the United States, Russia and Europe. Last month, Beijing launched its first cargo spacecraft. It hopes to establish a permanently manned space station by 2022 and to put astronauts on the moon by 2036. Christine Pirovolakis, TRT World.